Um, my name is Fredrik Gunnarsson and my presentation is called, as you can see, Alive, Digital Knowledge Development in, uh, and Communication in Contract Archaeology. Uh, I'm a PhD candidate in Graska. I'm also an employee on the Department of Museum Archaeology at Kalmar County Museum. The level of impact which digit, uh, digitization brings to contract archaeology is huge and can be traced within all different parts of the archaeological process. From documentation in the field, through the interpretation process, all the way to communication efforts to society. Some examples. Here you can see me take photos. Uh, that generates a 3D model for analysis, in this case a skeleton, that later becomes shared online as part of a virtual reconstruction of the site. A drone can produce images and films usable for oversight photos, picture analysis and 3D data without endangering any lives of archaeologists climbing ladders. <laughs> I heard that line before today, but <laughs> I'm reusing it. In the field, digital documentation enables a direct interpretation process with digital data available in real time. Discussions between researchers on or off-site, and even others, if you dare, can drive the interpretation process uh, forward in new ways. <coughs> Digitization also has the possibility to improve the business. A digital archaeological process can save time, money, you like that, uh, but more importantly, uh, secure and manage data collection and archiving. I also argue that the sector of contract archaeology can make a better contribution to archaeology and society with an open data approach and a more open archaeological process where primary data is open for scrutinizing. For example, making the interpretation process possible to backtrack in digital data creates opportunities for anyone to recreate the process and scientifically test conclusions made and potentially challenge them. In short, I think open data is better for science. This does not come without challenges though, and to achieve a more open contract archaeology is a real challenge, but far from impossible. It is needed, I think, if we want to develop the business and move forward. Data hoarding, unchallenged results, or bad communication to society are real problems that must be dealt with. But there are also a wide range of possibilities, not only when it comes to improvement of the business, but also to make it larger. New digital products uh, deriving from contract archaeology gives possibilities to create new services and new contracts apart from field work. With new markets opening up, archaeology can adapt to the needs of society in new ways. We have to ask ourselves the question, for whom are we doing archaeology? The Valletta and Faro conventions stresses the importance of archaeology and heritage to contribute to society and make it relevant for the people. Archaeology is not for archaeologists, it is for society. But if we don't make an effort, if we don't make the stories buried within digital data come alive, if we don't make digital data reusable uh, for researchers and understandable for the public, the information and the stories created by archaeology will be forgotten and the digital data attached to them will in the end die. And we will be, left, uh, will be left with dead data of no use for society. So, what do we need to do to make digital data come alive? Well, we need to make it understandable and reusable. 
Documentation and communication workflows should be more closely interlinked and not separated. If we think in terms of communication as early on as possible, even in the trench, then society can use heritage much earlier as well and take part when stories are created. If you want to be successful in your endeavors of working uh, with digital workflows, keep these three words in mind. Openness, reusability and relevance. Data will live on if it's used and reused and digital workflows have the potential to make knowledge produced by contract archaeology not only survive but also come alive. Thank you. <laughs>